it just gets better and better for you guys every single time I bump into you. And, and this is this is good because it would be awkward if it was going the other way. <laughs> but every time I bump into you guys, things are getting better and better. And uh, um, is it? I, I'm going to paraphrase the the first line from from Shine uh, uh, incorrectly, maybe. But you've been waiting. I've been ready for this day all my life. Am mm -hmm. I getting that? Yeah, pretty, close? pretty much. Yeah. Or, or yeah, do you yeah, mean yeah. never going to give up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't give up. But uh, uh, it it really is. You guys have been working for this for a long time, and uh, it just it really seems like you're ready for it. Does it make sense? Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. We were actually talking about it this morning. How um, I mean, music has just been such a big part of our lives from the very beginning, individually and together. That it just that you couldn't think of anything else you wouldn't be doing. Yeah. It's just it's just in you. And it can seem like, um, for a lot of people that maybe have never heard of the band before, it can seem sort of, you know, very abrupt in terms of all of a sudden more people know about you. But it just feels as though more incredible things have just been happening consistently since we really got going. And, you know, we got asked, like, when did you really know that it had changed? And it's yeah. just there are so many of those unique moments. Most recently, being out on the road with Old Dominion, the first time we're stepping out into arenas, and people know the words, but not just to the single, but they know the whole show. That has never happened before in our entire lives, yeah. and that that is such a crazy moment. You can't look them in the eye or you forget where you're at in the song. <laughs> That's a game changer, it's a, for sure. It's really been amazing. And you know, to that point, I mean, I know that in that moment, I had that moment of like, well, do we, do we belong here? Is this... Like, is this what we've actually, is this what we've, we've been wanting this, we've been asking for this, we've been working towards this, but is this like, are we actually doing it? Like, this is it. You know, because it's, it's terrifying sometimes stepping in front of, you know, 10,000 people and doing your thing and they're screaming your song and going, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, you know, like they're ready for a show. They've paid money to be there. They're expecting a show. I guess in that moment you're kind of like, well, yeah, we have earned this. Like we're working towards this, and this is this is the culmination of our efforts to this point. You kind of almost hope that feeling never goes away, right? Of walking out and, and a little a little bit of apprehensive energy, and you're like, God, I hope they I hope this works. You know, I mean, I, oh, yeah. I know, you know, you, you hope you you walk out and and then you get the feed the feedback from them, and you get the jolt, the jolt that wouldn't be there if you were like. Uh, here we go again. That's it. You feel you feel like you're that that ten year old kid on the bed playing air <laughs> guitar with your tennis racket, mm -hmm. which is probably why I play washboard. Actually, yeah, yeah, now yeah. That I think about it. <laughs> I had a couple of those moments tennis recently, racket. where where I've actually been on stage and kind of looked over and seen thirteen year old Aaron standing beside me because we've been together that That's long, it. and it's yeah. kind of like, wow. This is really happening right now. This is incredible. Yeah, it's pretty funny. And, you know, and, and, and on that point, there's also this, with the audience and the people singing the songs, I mean, there's, to your point, uh, it's a symbiotic relationship. The more that we give and the more they yep. give to us, the show just evolves. Every show seems to have a different and take on a different life. Um, so every show is different for us as well as being different for them. You're saying that, that you, you, uh, you saw... You know, thirteen-year-old, the thirteen-year-olds on stage performing. That's really good that you're doing that right now because the amount of people that I talk to that say, you know, if I ask that question, what what advice would you go back and give to your younger selves or whatever? They'd be like, take it in if you can, mm -hmm. try and take it in, in the moment. So totally. many people I talk to, they're like, it's so busy. I really, we just can't, you know, keep track. I, you know, I wish we had more time to just sit back and enjoy the ride, but you're going, you're being shuttled from place to place, and and you're always thinking about where you're going next and your next booking and yeah. the next single release. Mm -hmm. It's good that you're able to do that we're we're pretty fortunate because we're all best friends yeah so we actually get to do this together as best friends which is i always say it's like uh like you're five years old and you're building your tree fort and uh it never ends you know so that's never that's, gets finished never gets finished yeah <laughs> so you know the good days the bad days all in between you get to do it with your best buds and that's that's a pretty rare thing so mm. It's not lost on us. Yeah, there's tons of benefits to that too, right? Like you don't, an, an individual doesn't have to take the weight of it. And I know that, you know, even solo acts have uh, uh, bands with them, you know, behind them who, who might have been with them for a long time. But there's still ultimately, 
you know, it's got to be, there have to be some lonely, isolating moments. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure. but when there's the three of you, you can shoulder the load together. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how solo acts do it. It's just way more fun with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, that's a great line. It's way more fun with your friends. Yeah. That's a great line. Well, it's, it's evident in the new video as well, right? That you guys are kind of, uh, it's like a road trip constantly. When you're on tour, you're just on a road trip with your friends. That's it. Very jealous. I'm look, looking at, some, at the outside. <laughs> you're welcome going, to come. That's anytime. awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can play saxophone. You're in. I played tenor sax for years. Come on, I really did. I haven't played for a long time. I haven't played for a long time. Is there a horn section going on the road with you? There, there is, is now. now. <laughs> <laughs> the, aud the audition is careless whisper. Do you have it? I don't even, yeah. even care if you can play. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> awesome. You, at, you own a saxophone. You're in. What's the? Uh, I mean, the first record. It's like let's hope this. Let's hope this is received well. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been. You had almost a, like a million views w on each individual video that you guys released. And I was just doing, doing a little bit of a deep dive on this stuff. It goes six figures very quickly for you guys now. I, your fan base is strong enough that they want to watch They want to watch right away, right? Um, and it's hard to get noticed out there. It's hard to get people's time. Uh, you guys have done that. Second record, it's a different deal, right? Second record, it's like, okay, we got to kind of deliver on the promise that we made with the first one. Right. Well, you, you know, uh, the first record, we really took a risk on yeah. that one. Um, we were definitely a square peg going into a round hole. Uh, we knew that. We heard that. Um, but it sort of resonated with an audience. And um, and people really responded. And, and those, those people have become our fans. Um, on this next record, we felt, I guess, empowered to, to right. continue yeah. taking those risks. And so we, we, we did that exactly that. We said, well, we're not going to try and, you know, become something we're not. We're just going to, you know, obviously keep on doing what we're doing because, number one, it's working, plus yeah. we love it, and, it's, yeah. and it sounds good to us. I mean, when we sing harmonies and the skin on, on our own skin tingles yeah, yeah, and yeah. goes like that, you know, so those are the kind of things that we really appreciate about music. And sounds so, good to us is a good line. Yeah, that sounds good to us. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good to me is usually the thing you'd say, but it sounds good to us is like... Well, what's your what's your uh, what's the criteria for a good song? If it sounds good to us, yeah, and, and that's good. really our mantra for this next yeah, record. Yeah. So we're hoping that uh, Washboard 2.0 resonates the same way. So and you yeah. can stretch your legs on an album. I mean, In My Bones was six songs. Yeah, we'd written songs our entire career to get to that point. Um, there seemed like the stories because of so much of the, what we've been exposed to came a lot easier this time. Probably wrote thirty five songs for this record. Um, but mm -hmm. it was just so exciting because we've, we're, we're in love with the art of songwriting. Yeah. And we've always wanted to be better and better songwriters. So when we went to do this one, and we're binge writers, we'll go for weeks and write a couple songs a day. Um, and then when we went in to record it, it just it felt like there was something for everyone on this record. That yeah. For the first time, there were ballads from the Washboard Union. And there were the anthems that maybe some people were used to. And there were songs that laid somewhere in between. So it's really cool that you can kind of stretch out on an album and, and cover a lot of ground. So you guys felt um, empowered by the success of the first one to kind of let what you were breathe a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to dig a little deeper and try some things. I mean, uh, an EP is pretty limited in its space, so um, it's nice to Chris's point, for sure. You get to, you get to stretch your legs and dig a little deeper and, and try some things that you wouldn't try in the EP. A lot of the songwriters I know have trouble letting go, so they'll get like kind of lost, and then you know, while they're writing a song they'll forget where it started almost. Mm -hmm. You'll start with this great idea and then you'll get so lost. How do you guys make sure that that doesn't happen when you're writing? Like if you're writing two <laughs> songs a day, that means there's like, you guys are being pretty vicious. If, I'm not sure that we have control. I'm not sure that we drive that bus. There've been times that we've tried to write, you know, an anthem because that's what we felt like that morning. Yeah. But that wasn't the song you were meant to write that day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and sometimes they're given to you, it feels like. And then sometimes you have to wrestle them to the ground. Like, it seems like it's yeah. never the same way twice. Yeah, and how you could start out writing a ballad that morning, and it can take a left turn, and next thing you know, you've got a nice up-tempo tune at the end of the day. It's just, you never know where it's going to go. We you call start. them anthem ballads. Anthem ballads. <laughs> Is there is there a common thread? I mean, I was listening to your music again, getting ready for this, and just kind of uh, uh, reimmersing myself. And the word celebratory came to mind. It's like you guys are usually celebrating. Mm -hmm. What is does that is that right? You guys are a band that celebrates. Well, I, I thought you said celibate. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think that was going to be the, <laughs> that's what we're the whole, getting into. I didn't think we were getting into that. <laughs> not the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we got into it. this band to not be. <laughs> we went out on the road to not. That would go against the very ethos of getting into the music industry, wouldn't it? Got a different no, way of celebrating. When you go to a washboard union show, I think it's a celebration, right? 
We were as surprised as, as anyone with the, the success of that uh, six-song EP. Yeah. Uh, we went on the road and toured that for many years. We met many people on the way. Um, great people like yourself um, just opened our eyes to the not, not only the industry, but the community that is country music. Yeah. Um, I think this record and the songs that are on it reflect some of those stories and some of those people that, that we met along the way. And uh, we can't help but reflect on those relationships and the people we met along the way that little pieces of those have made us what we are, which is essentially the album title, which is what we're made of. Yeah. There's a, a lot of hope on the record, too. Yeah. And, I, and I think that that comes at a time where probably we needed it as much as anybody else. Yeah. Um, you know, a sad song and a song that sort of brings you out of the depths is a song that's relevant to hear. Um, I think there's a lot of songs here that... that we got to be thankful for the things that we have and some that reminded us that your dreams are big enough and they matter and that you matter. Um, and some of them were just, you know, some of them were thinking about that, that feeling of going home and, and those moments that kind of defined you and your buddies that literally, if you got with three buddies right now and you said, best night ever, tell me, and you probably all have that common experience, right? And those are, um, as you kind of go through life, those those still linger on as important moments that you compare other moments to. So I think there's all these neat seeds packed in the record. Yeah, yeah. We um we were in a, a lineup one time and um, uh, meet and greeting people and saying hello and uh, at the a, bank, right? Yeah, at the bank. A woman came up to us <laughs> and said um, she was talking about the song Shine and she was saying how. She had just gotten over stage four cancer, and she listened to that song every single day, and it just hits home how connected everybody is with music and, and how important it is in everybody's lives. And we all have bands and songs in our lives that mean a lot to us individually. And so it's great when you when you meet people that are your fans listening to music and, and, and you see that connection and how important it is. And it's definitely not lost on us. There is something very, very healing about being able to sing along with that. Oh! Right, you know, just dude, just just laying back and really very smart to put that into a song. It's good. I think a lot of people, I see a lot of commercial potential for that song as well. Not that that's why we're in this, but the the merging of art and commerce. I think they write those lines so I can remember the lyrics. That, oh, that's very funny. Um, you know, the, 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 I'm really happy this is working out because when I first met you guys, uh, I was like, God, I hope that I hope they're around for a long time. I hope they're a part of the industry for a long time. It was at a time when uh, it was all solo acts and. People like it's Alabama true. were saying, uh, uh, I wish there were more bands in country music. And now there's a few more out there. But you guys were uh, uh, part of the early wave of that stuff. And I was like, I hope they're That's around neat. for a long yeah. time because they're fun to talk to. They're great at what they do. <laughs> Thank uh, you. It's well deserved. Thank you, man. Thank Thanks thank for doing you, man. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for doing this. That's what we're made of. That's what we're made of.